observed the explosion, observed the fire, thinking of you. Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeuser.com, and today we're playing Reamed Riesa. It's a game from Sweden, and it's um, literally a space voyage. That's the actual translation of the title. And this is a first look, a first impressions of a game which is coming out on Steam on the 20th of August. So I'm following the um, the little sentry arrow that's pointing in a particular direction. In the first chapter, um, we're going to try and play just the first chapter in this preview. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! <laughs> what I've got to do is I've got to find nine locations as indicated by the little guy who's um, around me. So it's to the top right at the moment. And it's a procedurally generated exploration game, essentially. I'm just um, doddering around, avoiding bad things and collecting good things. There's a lot of... Oh my god! <laughs> Those aren't particularly bad. They just, I think you just bounce off them. Boing! There we go. But anything red, anything indicated by a red outline, is bad. So don't get hit by them. Um, at the moment I've got 544 resources at the bottom, which is essentially um, a combination of fuel and damage. If that gets to zero, I lose. And you lose a lot um, in various different ways. And um, so you just, have to, you just have to basically keep on stocking up. Um, it sometimes it, um, gives you choices. These are little quests you can do by going over anything that looks interesting. Uh, sometimes you get a choice, sometimes you get some free stuff, sometimes it takes things away. Uh, that's giving me stuff. Um, space points, uh, those go towards buying new ships every time you uh, get permadeath and have to start again. And the resources is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, and the moment, yeah, I'm, this is not the um, the basic ship. I actually had to pay for this ship. Um, and it's a really weird, wonky UFO. Uh, we can never tell which is the front. Um, and this is the first of my destinations. So I'll go over it, press the Q, and this is it. It's a thing. So we get lots of resources, and um, all these qu all these major quest things, um, the nine things, always give you positive things. Uh, some things don't. Um, that's given me a, uh, a collectible thingamabob. Uh, I'm going to go onto my ship screen. This is all the stuff that I've collected. Things actually carry over from game to game, um, and I can fit various things in various slots up here. So, um, the new stuff, um, where, I don't know which is new, hang on, I've, lo I've lost which one was new already. But as you can see, I've currently got an engine that has certain stats on the top right, like plus acceleration of 11 and stuff like that. But I could swap in a different engine, that that, that one for instance is one with an engine that has lots of acceleration, but much worse on top speed and stuff like that. There's also these, these consumable things, which are mapped to your 1, 2, 3 and 4 key. Uh, that, for instance, that one, if I set it off, um, if anything's coming towards me, I can blow things up. That is a gamble box, which I've never dared use, because it might kill me, or it might give me loads of stuff. The um, the areas of space are all uh, procedurally generated! <laughs> Damn it, I've bounced off it again. And the different regions um, always spawn certain kinds of things. Uh, like, some things will have lots of good refueling stations, other things will just be horrific bombardments of asteroids. So I mean, so far I've played this over a couple of hours, um, and I can't get enough of it. It's, <laughs> I've really been going back to it a lot. Uh, that's those little bits of um, star stuff are experience points. And um, every time you get, to, I mean, I'm on level twelve at the moment. Rhythm can listen for hours to the rhythm of water drops falling from the ceiling. So occasionally you get those um, boing. <laughs> Boing. Occasionally you get those um, snippets of poetry every time you finish um, a particular year of voyage. And they're like, they're like collectible logs, basically. Um, this game does wear its indie credentials on its sleeve by sometimes being very indie indeed. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. I, oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's the goal. And it's, it does suck you in. Big things that you haven't explored do suck you in like this. So that's not me moving. Uh, you've got to be careful with moving around. Uh, hang on, what's this? Uh, that's, that's part two of my nine-part mission. That's good. You've got to be careful when moving around, because every time you press the accelerator button, you use a resource. So, drifting is a very good mechanism to use. I'm just going to drift over slowly to here. Press Q. Uh, I've explored, and uh, it was a very basic, here's some more resources, which I didn't actually need. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, 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 hang on. Uh, um, from that Nova, I got a, a supply kit. Oh, look at that, that's useful. Okay, I'm going to put that over into four, because I try to keep... Uh, one as my emergency kit from anything if an asteroid comes towards me. Um, but if I activate the uh, my, by pressing four uh, on this, I shall get lots of resources, which will be good if I'm very low and about to die. Right, let's go on to the Lagoon Nebula. Oh, 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 oh! I remember. I think I've been to the Nebula uh, biome before, um, and it's absolutely full of things to explore. Go on, delicious quests. 
Uh, so far, I've had a lot of positive um, quests. You haven't seen me lose lots of things in, an, in a horrifically unfair manner. <laughs> yep, that's another good one. Oh! Well, I've been in th space for three years, and now it's given me s extra stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, space points have got millions of them. Um, but protective bubble is sort of a shieldy type thing. Uh, right. I've got protection, that means I've got a nice little bit of shield action. So explore that. Yep, perfectly positive. Oh, okay, a rainstorm. So I choose to actually go through it or ignore. I'm going to choose to go through it. And it was another positive result. Well, I've been very lucky so far, because it can just suddenly turn on you this game and just, like, strip you of all your resources in a second. Yeah, it is very roguelike. Um, all this is procedurally generated. Um, and you can, as well as, like, these wibbly-wobbly... Um, uh, Star Trek Voyager nebulas. You can also find all sorts of weird and wonderful spacecraft that are drifting in space. It's all very miserable sometimes. So sad. But hey, space points! Yes! Uh, plus I've got a sentry. A sentry is, uh, I think, we will replace that matey boy that does circle me. Um, by the looks of it, it's got a better sentry skill, but it will make sh my ship go a bit slower. I'm going to try it out, see if I can detect any actual distance difference. Right, here we go. Look, my sentry has now changed. The, the little white guy who's following me. Uh, failed. Re success! Um, uh, de depending on your stats, because you can, you, you, can, you can convert your XP into stuff. Depending on your stats, um, so the, the chance of actually succeeding in a quest, um, you can actually increase. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing quite well at the moment on that, on that front. Let's try and get up to beyond level 12, actually, because there's lots of... There we go! Uh, so now I press my um, pilot button, which is S. Uh, and, okay, so this is my um, XP upgrade screen. Um, let's see, I haven't really got much technology going on. Um, I've been kind of like ignoring that because it doesn't seem to have a huge benefit. Um, exploration's useful because, as you can see, uh, I've increased that quite a lot and my quests generally are quite successful. Um, survival is a good thing to increase because you get more resources and stuff like that. So I think I'll go for scouring, actually, because that's... Uh, I thought it said scouting before. Um, scouring because it means my rare items hopefully will be better and that. Right, let's keep moving. And when I get on to level 15, I think I'll unlock um, uh, an extra extra bonus, which is all for the best. Right, so let's go. Let's, um, let's travel across space. Um, there's also a hyper... Sp oh, no! Ow! Yeah, that, that ate my shield. Those red things are... Oh, they're, they're tits. Uh, they're nasty little buggers. Don't want to touch them again. Oh, look, that, there's a bad thing. Now things are going a bit worse. Um, apparently that um, satellite was grinning nastily at me. Uh, and I've lost, I've lost a small amount of resources. Uh, thankfully, not um, crucial. Right, we've drifted into. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the move again. Um, I'm going to show you hyperspace once we've got away from all these dastardly asteroids or dasteroids. Yes. Um, <laughs> God, the, the buggers. The bugger. Okay. Um, you press space um, and you go flying. We. Oh. Ow. 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 Dicks. <laughs> Oh, I should have waited longer. Le yeah, I just um, hyperspaced into a hundred asteroids. <laughs> that was incredibly unlucky. Just like to point that out. That was l unlucky. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Right, so it looks like we're not going to get to the end of the chapter. But I'll just show you a couple of, a couple of other things. I'm going to spend my space points on a different ship this time. So launch that. Now, just a couple of other things to mention while I think about it. This is chapter one. There are currently three chapters in the game, and each one is a bit different. They've got the same basic mechanism of you tootling about in your ship, cutting about the galaxy like a madman, and, but each chapter is subtly different. Like the first one is go find nine things, um, and hopefully you'll find a new planet. Um, uh, the second chapter is more about um, you establish a planet as your base, and then you go tootling around um, um, gathering materials and terraforming your planet. And chapter three, apparently, is set in a, in a, a different universe entirely. So that's something to look forward to. Right. Oh, oh, here we go, lads. Uh, in fact, remember this. Uh, where is it? Uh, there's my massive supply kit. So press four, and boom! I'm up to 340. Uh, right. Okay, so yeah, this is coming on Steam on the 20th of August. Um, hopefully we're going to revisit this game um, with a proper review, and maybe some more Let's Play type stuff. Because I really enjoy playing this. Um, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to show you. Um, and to be honest, I'm a sucker for anything with lots and lots of rare items in that whole roguelike fashion. Um, I'm less of a sucker for being bashed in the face by an asteroid over and over. And also, hyperspace! Oh, I've done it again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. 
Oh well. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from Randomized User um, with a game I'm not going to try and pronounce a second time. <laughs> I think I might have embarrassed myself the first time, so I'll, um, I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, it's coming out on Steam very soon, and yeah, um, check it out. Uh, so see you next time. Bye-bye.